Okay, everybody, welcome to lesson four. We're going to be talking and focusing specifically on three different words, and it's what's the difference between biomes, ecosystems, and habitats? Um, sometimes when we look at words, they have very similar meaning, so it's important to look at what the biggest difference of them are. By the end of this lesson, we will be able to know the definition of a bio. Uh, of a biome and examples, uh, definition of ecosystems and examples, definition of a habitat and examples. So we'll go to the next slide. So here's the introduction. I've put a nice big poster for people that like really quick information on the side about biomes, ecosystems, and habitats. But this is what we're going to be doing. Introduction. When learning about a new topic, it can be very confusing because we tend to be learning a lot of new words. These words can be similar to old ones we know, but have slightly different meanings. Another difficult we run into when learning new words is being able to figure out what makes them so different. This is the problem most people have when we talk about biomes, ecosystems and habitats. Now, if we look at biomes, ecosystems and habitats, they all have a certain, uh, they all have animals that live in them. They all have bugs that live in them. They all have plants kind of around that area. They all deal with certain kind of weather, things like that. But we're gonna be looking at the specifics at what make them so different and how we can tell them apart. Okay, so we're gonna click next. So a habitat examples and comparisons. So comparisons just means how you compare it to other things. Now, habitat, you could think of a habitat as a special place in a community in which a plant or animal lives. There could be many different habitats in a biome. Since an ecosystem is a neighborhood, a habitat could be considered the address an animal lives at or the house or their house and home. So a habitat is specifically a place where an animal lives. And if you look at this, I have many different examples. So a habitat for a rabbit is this nice little hole in the tree. Sometimes it's in the grass. It depends on the type of rabbit and what biome or ecosystem they live in. But their habitat is their home. That's their main thing that you wanna think about. Kind of like how H, habitat starts with an H, home starts with an H. So if you look at this owl over here, an owl living in a tree, you have ants living in their hole. That is their home. That's where they live. Just like you have a house or an apartment that you live in, that would be your habitat or home. Okay, ecosystems. We've talked a lot about ecosystems, you guys. Um, but just to refresh our, mem our memory, it's really important that we always go back to information that we've already learned. So ecosystem. An ecosystem is a community where living or biotic and non-living or abiotic things that work together. An ecosystem is basically the neighborhood where an animal lives. So just like you, you have a home. And around your home, you have neighbors and a community. So an ecosystem is kind of like a community. All the people around you that do things to make that community successful, like schools, possibly hospitals, possibly um, grocery stores, things like that. So if you look over here, I have an example of an ecosystem. Lots of living things. We have trees, we have lily pads, we have frogs, we have fish, we have bacteria. Uh, and lots of non-living things. We have dirt, we have sun, we have air, we have water. So abiotic things. And they're all working together to make it so that all of these things can live and coexist and live together and work together. So for example, in an ecosystem or in a habitat of a fish living in a pond, they need the sunlight in their ecosystem. They need the bacteria in their ecosystem to be able to survive and live. Now a biome. Now when you think about a biome, a biome is a really, really big place. A biome is bigger than an ecosystem. A biome is larger, a large geographical area that contains distinct plant and animal groups which are adapted to live in that environment. A biome is comparable to a big city. So when you think about habitat, think about small small home. When you think about an ecosystem, think about a medium, like a neighborhood that you live in. A biome is just like living in a big giant city. It covers a 
bigger area. And if you look over here, I have a map of all the different biomes that are connected. So if you see the colors link up with the map key or uh, the map key. So if you look down here and you see red, you know the red parts on the map are the desert biome. If you look at the green or the um, light purple, you know that the light purple is the tundra biome. And basically biomes, what they have is they have similar animal groups and plant life that grow there and similar, cl similar climate. So hotness, coldness, that kind of stuff to make it so that those animals are, are able to survive and live there. So here's some of the examples that I have of ecosystems in different biomes. So this is ecosystems. These are the animals that live there. It's a wooded area, that kind of thing. Here's more of a desert area. You have cactuses, animals that are adapted to live in hot areas with little to no water, or they get their water from other sources. And then you have uh, colder areas like the North Pole. And then you have you guys living in your habitat or your messy room, just like Elijah. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you guys uh, look at the assignment and come visit us during office hours. Okay, you guys? Next week, we'll be doing lesson five, more about biomes. Thanks a lot, you guys.